Okay, so this is the first video in the series that I'm calling Revit to Real. And um, it's going to begin at the beginning of really any design process, uh, especially when we're looking at creating models. And that is by finding the site and moving through massing uh, and understanding contours and context. So I'm going to begin in SketchUp um, so we can grab the um, site data and some basic site information. So I'm going to start first by deleting Derek. Um, mainly because I, I like Derek, he's great and all, but I really don't want him to be part of the contour data when I do the export, and he will become part of the, the, the contour data because Revit doesn't know Derek from anything else. So what I want to do um, once he's deleted is I'm going to go ahead and grab my location, which is um, the project that I'm going to be working through, which is a real project that I'm working on um, in Las Pentitas, Mexico. I'm going to go um, select region. And I'm going to move my pins to grab an appropriate amount of context. And my site is this little piece of property right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and say grab. So what SketchUp is going to do is build a one-to-one -one model, virtual model, inside of uh, the computer here. And uh, and by one-to-one, -one, what I mean is, you know, if I if I go ahead and do a measure of this, at its virtual scale. You can see I'm about 1,500 feet by uh, 920 feet in size. So the site, everything is at the correct site. And if you'll notice, at SketchUp, when it imports, uh, the first thing you're going to see is a flat site. Um, no contour, no terrain on this. There's a toggle button right here called Toggle Terrain. If I turn that on, you can see it now has the terrain data applied to it. And it's that terrain data that I want to be able to export into Revit to turn that into contours to begin working on my site and my model. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, delete this. So I export only the parts that I want. To do that, I need to unlock and delete. And then I'm going to switch back over to my toggle terrain. And what's happening when you do that, there's actually just simply two layers inside of SketchUp. One layer has the flat version of the site. The other layer has the contoured version or the, the version with the actual topography applied, the terrain data applied. And um, this toggle button is just switching the visibility between those two layers. So with this now, um, I'm going to go ahead and export a DWG file. Now you have to have SketchUp Pro to export the DWG file. If you do not have SketchUp Pro, you can bring a, a .skp file, a skip file, into Revit, but you'll need to do a little bit of manipulation there um, in order to use that as terrain data. So I would definitely recommend getting uh, or using the SketchUp Pro version. It's a little bit of an easier process. So what I'm going to do is File, Export, 3D Model. I'm just going to write this to my desktop. And I'm just going to call this Camino-Site. My AutoCAD options, I typically use uh, release 14 or 2000 of AutoCAD for the DWG files. I just want to keep things as simple as possible. So Camino-Site.DWG um, file, export, and OK. So now going into Revit. I'm going to go first import the DWG file. So I'm going to go to insert and import CAD. Go into my desktop, Camino site, and open. This takes just a few seconds to process the geometry. And what you're going to see when this comes up is a triangulated mesh. And again, um, we've got still sort of a one-to-one -one file here. Uh, SketchUp and Revit do play pretty nice together. So, you know, if I measure across to verify, I'm still in that 1,500 feet by 920 feet range. Um, it's a little weird. It always comes in a little bit off axis. I don't know exactly why that is. It's something that's never concerned me too much. I just kind of work through it. So if I look at that data, you can see that does have the terrain to it. And it doesn't have contour lines on it yet. What I need to do next is tell... Revit to use this model as my actual site and to place contours on it. So I'm going to go to Massing and Site, Topo Surface, and I'm going to use Create from Import. And this is the step if you don't have SketchUp Pro and you import a skip file, you won't be able to do this. Um, what you'll actually need to do 
uh, this is sort of a long workaround, but it, it, it works, is go ahead and import your skip file into Revit, export it from Revit as a DWG file, and then import the DWG file back into Revit again, and you'll be able to go through these same steps. So from here, I'm just going to go create from import, select import instance, and I'm going to say OK to that. I'm going to click the green check, and now I have contours over that. So the next thing that I want to do is I actually want to delete the imported DWG file, so I'm left with only the contours, and that gets the basic setup of importing a site that we're next going to prep for uh, the CNC router um, and building massing in terms of outputting real objects from this Revit file.